Cholangioscopy and Primary Sclerosing Cholangitis by Douglas G. Adler, MD. Primary sclerosing cholangitis is a chronic inflammatory disease of the bile ducts of unknown etiology. PSC is strongly associated with inflammatory bowel disease. PSC can lead to jaundice, recurrent cholangitis, and cirrhosis. Patients with PSC are at high risk of developing cholangiocarcinoma. ERCP plays a key role in both diagnosis and treatment of PSC. Cholangioscopy can provide vital information and facilitate tissue acquisition from the bile duct. PSC can have many appearances. This patient has intrahepatic ductal dilation with a common hepatic duct stricture shown with an arrow. This patient has intrahepatic duct pruning as well as innumerable stenoses and a distal common bile duct stricture shown with an arrow. This patient has mild intrahepatic ductal dilation with strictures and a concerning left hepatic duct stricture shown with an arrow. Cholangioscopy can assist in determining disease severity. The cholangioscopic appearance may be better or worse than suspected based on cholangiography. This patient has relatively mild PSC with some erythematous changes to the bile duct wall interspersed with more normal appearing bile duct epithelium shown here. This patient also has mild PSC although slightly more impressive than the prior patient. There is some exudate within the duct lumen but there are shallow superficial ulcers of the duct wall. No obvious strictures are seen here. Moderate PSC is often associated with some duct narrowing and more confluent areas of erythema, as shown here. More severe PSC is often associated with greater exudative debris within the duct, as well as narrowing of the duct lumen and significant areas of ulceration. In some patients, severe PSC may be difficult to distinguish from cholangiocarcinoma as in this patient. Cholangioscopy can help select sites for tissue acquisition. Tissue can be obtained via biliary brushings or forceps biopsy. Biliary brushings can be sent for routine cytology or fish analysis. Fish studies look for annuloploidy and other chromosomal abnormalities. Fish can enhance the ability of brush cytology to detect cholangiocarcinoma. This patient has a negative biliary fish study with paired chromosomes that look normal. This patient has an abnormal fish study with irregular numbers of chromosomes. This patient had cholangiocarcinoma. Forceps biopsy can allow histologic and not just cytologic samples to be obtained. This illustrates a cholangioscopic biopsy of the patient with severe PSC shown previously. A key role for cholangioscopy is in the identification and diagnosis of cholangiocarcinoma in patients with PSC. If cholangiocarcinoma is suspected, tissue should be obtained for analysis by cytology, fish, biopsies, or a combination thereof. This patient has a common hepatic duct stricture and intrahepatic ductal dilation. On cholangioscopy, a smooth but bulky area of tissue is seen at the level of the stricture with significant narrowing of the duct lumen. This is highly concerning for cholangiocarcinoma on appearance. Multiple forceps biopsies were taken from this patient using the cholangioscopic biopsy forceps. 
the patient was found to have cholangiocarcinoma. This patient had a more concerning common hepatic duct stricture with significant intrahepatic ductal dilation on the left side. Cholangioscopy demonstrated a fungating lesion within the bile duct lumen. Multiple forceps biopsies were obtained and these revealed cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangioscopy can also facilitate wire and or stent placement in patients with PSC and or cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangioscopy can also be used to evaluate metal stents following deployment. Overall, cholangioscopy can add significantly to ERCP performed in patients with PSC. Information about disease location, severity, and the presence of malignancy can all be obtained.